Morning, day two. Day two, y'all. Good morning. Howdy, Sail Away crew. We had an awesome embarkation day yesterday, and today we got a little trivia, a little belly flop contest. I'm not going to compete. <laughs> Some hot tub time because JJ's neck is like killing him from moving furniture or whatever. I've never been this old before. <laughs> so we're and we're liking this aft view I mean, this again this is our own private you know balcony we got this aft balcony for the first time ever and we're really liking it so we're gonna go eat breakfast first and of course we're doing this trip we're showing you the food and telling you what we think about it so we're starting the day I'm hungry day two breakfast in the windjammer a kind of a light colored plate but I did do better and get fruit Thank you. Biscuits and gravy. I'm a southern girl. Got to have your biscuits and gravy. An egg omelet because I, ha I was going to have to stand in line for fried eggs on some other ships. They've had like actual fried eggs already made, but they didn't on Explorer here. And some chicken sausage. And of course, my colorful fruit bowl. Let's do it. Four hard boiled eggs. Little oatmeal with cinnamon and raisin. And a little chicken sausage. Black coffee and a little cream for the oatmeal. Bon appetit. I will say this is the best donut I've ever had on any Royal Caribbean ship. I have not been impressed with donuts before because they're not like American fried donuts. I don't know how they're different. It's the flour or something. But this icing is amazing and even the dough is pretty darn good. So I say Explorer of the Seas gets a double thumbs up for their donuts. Breakfast was very good, very healthy, but now I'm going to blow it. almost all your fruit, and yet look what's on top. Well, a man's got to have his priorities, I'm just saying. Here we go. And you can let us know how it is, because we haven't had very good luck with donuts on board. I approve. You can always get fresh squeezed orange juice as opposed to the other that you saw on the bar in the Windjammer. It is a fee unless you have the drink package or you have your diamond vouchers, but it is very good. I add a little ice to mine because it kind of comes room temperature, but it is definitely fresh squeezed. Excellent. We are heading down to Trivia in the Schooner Bar. Oh, they're already starting. They may be behind to... Uh, uh, get the feeling of how dumb we are. Got in and got settled with our cards for okay, trivia. Let's start. And there he is. Which city is known as the city of lights? What is that? Don't you know the city of lights? Y'all probably do as you're watching this, and we don't. So it'll be entertaining when we get two right out of Question number 15. Six. How many squares on a chessboard? This is not going well. What birthstone is associated with the month of May? Oh, Emerald. do not tell everybody else what that answer. What birthstone is associated with the month of May? I like since it's my birthday That's month. Why. Yeah, he was right on it though. What are you doing when you hook a knob and a void together? Knob and void. What musical instrument has drones and tussle? What musical Magpies. instrument? What does hippopotamus mean? Again? What, what does hippopotamus, does hippopotamus mean? mean? What does it mean? Everyone, point and laugh. <laughs> what does the word hippopotamus mean? What does what is the only permitted mode of power in a soapbox derby? JJ said gravity, and I think he's right. I say we're gonna get two, three. Any questions? I think we're gonna get three. I come here to feel really smart. One, two, three, four, five. We got five. <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have a very uh, educated group this time thank you thank you very much couple who thank won got eight we're not doing too bad with five 11 o'clock view from our ocean view window in our cabin beautiful i'm literally still not hungry from breakfast so i didn't get a lot i got some breaded pork uh, mac and cheese always rocks and some grilled zucchini and squash and of course 
I always save room for dessert, so we'll show you that when we get it. So the result, JJ? Hold on. <laughs> well, I guess he's happy with the pasta salad. Is that it, what that says? It's terrible. Wow, I can tell. And his salad is half gone. And his beef patty. You can't go wrong. It's like a beef salad. It's a beef, it's a ham, it's a bunless burger salad. Dessert time! And I, we didn't get a whole lot this time. We're still gonna share. This is a pistachio pound cake. And the, it looks like raisin cookies. Raisin oatmeal. And this is like a coconut something tart. So it's kind of a test subject. We'll see. The coconut something tart. You use the word interesting. Interesting is right. <laughs> the texture is, uh, <laughs> is more dense than a pudding and more dense than a custard. And there's definitely coconut in it, but I don't know how to describe it. It's just, <laughs> it's very tasty. And the pound cake is going in my mouth because it's lovely. So I gotta taste this again just to make sure I like it. You can see it's very thick. Well, you gotta leave me part of it. I may just have to go get another piece just to make sure. It's that disgusting, huh? Yeah. Hey, what do you think of the uh, coconut? Wow coconut whatever it is yeah something tart they're calling it so I definitely taste coconut it's a little gummy consistency at first like I was kind of surprised because gummy would be a right yeah yeah it's much thicker than like cheesecake obviously. Yeah, yeah obviously yeah um, gummy yeah it's gummy but it tastes <coughs> good it's not very sweet at first and then it kind of yeah. lingers does it remind you of eating play-doh when you were a girl um, I never ate play-doh <laughs> But thank you for the, the thought. I was, I was just thinking yellow, yellow Play-Doh. No. No? Never ate Play-Doh. Okay. And I can't imagine that it would have tasted good. Actually, I must have... Hold up. Wait a minute. Because I know that it's salty. Yeah, well, it was to it used to be toxic, toxic, and then they no, changed the I recipe because kids it. were eating it. It's salty. So yeah. how else would I know that? Unless there you at go. some point I had tried it. I'll take a bite of that salty coconut. This is not salty. This uh, is okay. sweet. Let me have that. Kind of gummy. And the the crust is pretty good though too. The crust is fantastic. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Thank, Thank you. you for the view in your mouth too. Hold on. That was lovely. No. Promenade. I thought maybe we'd show you a little bit of it when it wasn't so busy. This is one of the bars on the promenade. Fully stocked bar. Right there. You got the rural promenade sign. You got your Voom desk right here in case you need any help. And unfortunately, that looks like a long line. He is for busy help this morning. For the Voom desk. And of course, guest services was right over there. <clears throat> then you've got your stores. There's a Solera store. You got your shopping in the middle too. Bags and flip flops and hats. It looks beautiful. On and you. Right here, bro. And he's got a model, a crew member model going on here. Port Merchant Shop. Yeah, I like shop, it. <laughs> which is your alcohol, if you want to buy alcohol on board. <clears throat> the Brahmin looks like a jewelry store. And the cool looking Harley Davidson, right? Isn't that what that is? That is a Harley Davidson. Yeah. Got the Fashion District, which is a clothing store. clothing store, the shop. Actually, that's the Royal Caribbean clothing store. Jewelry shop over there. I'm seeing Swarovski. Purses and jewelry. Lots of seating right outside the, pub? the Crown and Kettle pub right here. They have live music in there. <laughs> they have live music in there at night. Y'all are fine, thanks. The Freestyle Coke machines, which there's usually a semi-long line for. Let me turn around here and show you the promenade walkway because when they have events here on the promenade, you'll see the staff and dancers or whatever it is that's going on up there with announcements or dancing or whatever it is. And also, as long as I'm turned around, show you these promenade view 
rooms. So if you're looking at the different type of cabins up here, it's almost like having a bay window in your room. Uh, but remember to keep your curtains closed if you're dressing or whatever else, because these people over here- That could be a little embarrassing. Can see right into your room and vice versa. We've had a promenade cabin view one time and we really liked it. I thought it was a nice change. You feel like you have a little more room. You really don't, but uh, it's kind of a combination between a balcony and an inside room. Didn't you think? Did you like the promenade view room? It was different, yeah. It's better than an inside cabin for me. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a people person. I like to people watch. More promenade cabins down here. And here I'm going to step have... out and get myself a premium coffee. Okay. We have the Cafe Promenade down here. And Ben and Jerry's ice cream right here. JJ's getting his coffee with our diamond voucher, one of his diamond vouchers. He already had one this morning. And then this is just a little snack shop, Cafe Promenade is. So you um, can get, again, your Starbucks specialty coffees along with the Ben and Jerry's ice cream and all kind of snacks. Hi. Ham, egg, and Swiss cheese, cheese, lettuce, and tomato, smoked salmon, cream cheese, red onions, and dill, white glazed donuts. That is one I had in the Windjam this morning, and they were good. Dark chocolate donut, vanilla Danish, streezel, 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 not pronouncing that right, croissant, chocolate croissants, brand muffin, banana muffin. So they will have snacks in here throughout the day of different kinds. That's more at breakfast muffins. And then you have your muesli, strawberry yogurt, different kinds of yogurt, and your fruit cups. They'll have pizza in here also. Pizza at 11.30. So there's seating in here if you want to eat. Booths and tables, they have coffee and drinks. Same drinks as in the Windjammer over there with the tea bags and the coffee as well as iced water over here and cups. So this is a nice little alternative if you just want a snack and you're not ready to head to the Windjammer or the, even the main dining room and come in here. You've been at the pool or out at the beach all day and you just want a snack when you come in. And then down here at this end of the promenade, you have the stair that stairs on either side that go down to the Palace Theater. And this is the next cruise desk or office on deck six. On some ships, it's an entire room. Um, like on Wonder, it was on the promenade deck. On the Explorer here, it's on the sixth deck and it's in the middle of where you would go to the cabins. Hi, Dad. Hi. So you come in and you can be helped by an employee You're a with your next cruise. So it's really convenient. As you come in, they'll help you and you can book your next cruise while you're on board. Probably get a discount on the deposit. Um, and then if you would like to also, I think it's within 30 days, transfer it to your travel agent and they can then get their credit also. Shh, it's the card room and library. This area is on deck seven with a great view of the promenade. If you're looking for a quiet place to kick back and read or play a calm, quiet game of dominoes or cards, this is your place. There are a few actual books on the mostly empty shelves and an open atrium looking up into the Royal Caribbean Online on Deck 8. And this is Royal Caribbean Online where you can find computers to use on board. They also have printers available for your convenience as well as several computers if you'll just scan around the room, JJ. You can use your computer package come in here if you didn't if you didn't bring your phone or if you don't have your own computer and if you'll go over the edge you can see down into the card room in the library so we're headed to dinner first formal night or dress your best I, I think they actually called this one formal night and I think the one on night Seven is called Dress Your Best, but anyway, um, this is our best tonight, so it doesn't matter if it's whatever it's called, right? They're getting what they get tonight. <laughs> they get what they get every night, mm. quite frankly. We're going to show you all what we're wearing though later out on deck, and just to give you some ideas throughout the week 
of what we wear on a cruise. So uh, we're, uh, we'll also show you, show you our food at dinner. Appetizer number one. Number one, my favorite, escargot. Ooh, move that bread so we can see and I, I want to see if it's hot because I like it hot. Not as hot as I like it, but it'll do. Very tasty. Very tasty. Oh yeah, that's for the butter. Got to get some butter. Helps keep my cardiologist in business. And I got my favorite calamari. And I will just simply move all the red and white stuff out of the way. And it'll just be my little squid and the sauce and me. Her little friends. My little squigglies are very crispy, which is what you always want when you have something fried. And the sauce tastes like Thousand Island dressing. I don't know. All I know is it's good. Two nights at the main dining room. It looks like inflation has continued here for my <laughs> Caesar salad. Like everything, you're That's getting less. Fifty percent of what it used to be. Mm but I'm sure it's going to be extremely tasty. But it was good last night, right? It was good. Appetizer number two, because if you didn't know, you can order as many appetizers or main course or desserts as you want in the main dining room. So my appetizer number two is the pumpkin soup. So let's see. Mm, very Actually, not very pumpkin-y, just the right amount of pumpkin-y. Is that a word? Pumpkin-y? Pumpkin it is now. I'll it's look an it MDR up. cruising word. Pumpkin-y. Pumpkin-y. That's a sherryism. It looks like it has some kind of cheese. Like, I, I don't know, some kind of like the white, white part. Anyway, it's very good. So all you have to do is ask. The white things in the pumpkin soup were sour cream, little blobs. And I'm telling you, this may be my new favorite appetizer for Royal Caribbean. I, I don't know. It would have to run a second to calamari because I love me some calamari, but this pumpkin soup is really good. Time for the main course. Dun, dun, dun. Medium rare beef tenderloin oh my. with asparagus, mashed potatoes, okay. and brown gravy. Now, what did you have last night? Last night. What did I have last night? You had night? a meat that you weren't as happy with? I had prime rib that was not up Very to par thin for Royal. And not right. Correct. This looks much better, right? Well, I asked for a double helping saving the trip. Let's dig into this bad boy. I ordered it medium rare, it's perfect. Mm, I'm a little sure red for me. I'm sure it's going to be just right. A little, little bit of little red for me. A little bit of mushroom there too. That's good for Ooh, the brown gravy. Oh, you were just gravy. saying you hadn't seen any mushrooms in the windjammer. Right, right. Well, the fresh mu mushrooms have gone by the wayside. Right. I think. Anyway, let's yeah. give this a shot. Okay. Here we and go. And the brown gravy. Very tender. Up to par. Cooked perfect. And I'll probably have two more. Oh goodness, two more of double helping. I'm on vacation. <laughs> we're in trouble. I got the seafood linguine, which includes shrimps and scallops and oysters. No, what are these? Are these oysters? That's scallops. Scallops. No, I'm well, sorry. That, that's a... Uh, that's a scallop. That's a scallop. And shrimpers. That's shrimp. And clams. Hello. And there may be some calamari in there as clams. well. Clams. Uh, there is calamari. There you go. Unfried. I just right. got done with fried. Right. And then it's got, you know, the pasta sauce. It's out, supposed to be Alfredo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to helping you finish that. It's not like Texas Alfredo, I'll tell you that, okay. But it's more buttery than Southern Alfredo sauce. But let's see how it's tasting. As good as ever. Up to par. As is often done, JJ finishes, or at least some, of my dinner. So he informed me the little things in the shells are mussels. I figure we'll have comments <laughs> about what they are. Calamari's good. If we didn't tell you that we figured out what they were. So if you have a different opinion, these are the shells. 
that they were in. Uh, so you think, wait, do we have a muscle? It's a yeah, muscle. I think we have a muscle. JJ says 100% it's a muscle. That's a muscle. Okay. Just got an interesting comment from our assistant waiter when I when we were telling him that you know JJ finishes the rest of my meal and he said actually that's a good thing for us ask me why and I said why and he said because our assistant manager for the dining room then doesn't say well the plate was almost half full did you ask the passenger if they didn't like something <laughs> I said they sometimes ask me that because I, I'll leave half my meal and I have to tell them no no it was really good I'm just getting full and I want to save room for dessert and that's a really small piece of carrot cake uh, so I may be asking for another one I'm not sure JJ got the same thing and the carrot cake I'm getting a nodding head again not a sleepy nodding head but a I'm swallowing and it's good nodding head it'll be perfect when my decaf coffee shows up sweeter than I expected because oftentimes with the foreign chefs they don't make things as sweet as what we're used to in the US you know everything's like double triple sweetened um, but the, the icing is very sweet and the cake is very moist so two thumbs up on the carrot cake and mine is now perfect because my decaf coffee showed up we had dinner and then we went to the show and we will show you a few snippets of that, trying not to get copyright struck <laughs> for the music. Good. It was just like a song and dance of different cities and the music associated with those cities. They have four singers, two women and two men, and some of the dancers. And then they had a couple dancer that were ballroom dancers that were amazing. I'll put some footage in here because they were absolutely crazy amazing. And so it was, it was really good for evening. We missed the, the Broadway shows. You know, we like the Broadway shows, but it is what it is now with cruising. And JJ wanted more food. <laughs> so he... We came to Cafe Promenade. I'm on vacation. You, you, what is it? You eat, you sleep, you repeat. We have Starbucks um, coffees. They don't have any of the specialty drinks here in the Cafe Promenade, but they do have like Cafe Mocha and Frappuccinos and th that kind of thing. Um, and we have our, what did I use? My second diamond voucher for the day. So I got two more left. Hey, I used my fresh OJ, one for fresh OJ in the Windjammer this morning. That was good. Orange juice. And you had this made with decaf. Yeah. And I had this made with decaf so I can actually so she's not up all night. sleep tonight. Oh, we got a towel animal. Do we know what it is? Can you tell what it is? I don't know. Let's see. I think it's a Wait. bear. He's he's moving back and forth. He is. I'm not himself. touching the bed. He's vibrating with happiness. Name this animal. He's a doggy. Oh, good puppy. Is he a bear? Good puppy. Uh, let's vote. Vote in the comments below what you think the towel animal is. And why is he jiggling? He's jiggling with joy to be in an aft balcony. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? We are in our balcony at night. And it's the sound of the ocean. That's the wake music. The wake music. Can you see anything? Probably not. It's in 